Hey guys, Bill, the Kansas Flamingo Chef and Panther. He and I are going to make you a cocktail. Of course, he's probably going to get off the bar before that happens or go mess with the lights. So, <laughs> we're... I'm a big fan of daiquiris, and right now I'm laughing at a cat that's moving my lighting. Stop it. So, if you've never had a really good daiquiri, it's just the perfect experience. There's nothing quite like it. It's, it's rum taken to a different level. So I want to show you how to how to make my favorite daiquiri. We're going to start with a shaker with ice. I'm going to take three different kinds of rum. I'm going to use Appleton Estate Rum. You can use any aged rum you like. I recommend a Jamaican rum because you're going to get the fullness of flavor. And of that, I'm going to use about an ounce. Next, I've got plantation pineapple rum. Now, in order to get the flavors right, you got to have this one. And this, I need about three quarters of an ounce. Then I have spiced rum. Now, I don't use spiced rum for much, but I do use it in a daiquiri. This one is one everybody's familiar with. We're going to sail with the captain with about a half an ounce of spiced rum. Next, I'm going to use a half an ounce of agave syrup, just natural agave nectar, about a half an ounce. Then we're going to rinse that shaker with a half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. And yes, that's lime juice I squeeze ahead of time and keep in the refrigerator. So I always have it on hand. Last but not least is about a half an ounce of passion fruit puree. You can buy this at most decent uh, liquor stores. You can get it online. Even some grocery stores have it. So again, about a half an ounce of that. Put all that together in the ice. And then generally, I might add a splash of grenadine to this for color, but it really doesn't need it. So we're going to bypass that. Shake this, and then we'll strain it into this pretty little flamingo coupe. You can double strain this if you want to. You don't really need to. And it's almost like I knew what I was doing. There is what I like to call Bill's Flamingo Daiquiri. Enjoy. Oh my goodness, that is so good. Give this a try. You can vary this just about any way you want. But to build a daiquiri, you need rum and lime juice and then enhancers from there. Until next time, if you have something you'd like me to make, if you have a question, all you got to do is drop me a line, bill at kansasflamingochef.com. Check out some of my other videos. One in particular has been going crazy the last few days, and that's uh, the video I did of the Town West Square Mall in Wichita, Kansas. But if you've got a suggestion for content, I'm always happy to give it a shot. Have a great day. Eat fabulous, and I'll see you on the next one.